now has an additional confirmed case of the coronavirus. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live now outside City Hall. Well, actually not outside City Hall. Where are you tonight, Mike? Matt? Uh, Dennis, we are uh, outside uh, Career Regional High School uh, here in New Haven, and uh, that is because they are actually going to be using this high school here in New Haven to help slow the spread. But uh, today, Mayor Justin Elliker uh, announced that they have now four confirmed cases of the coronavirus here in New Haven, a suspected case as well. And again, as we just said, the city plans on using Hill Regional Career on Legion Avenue as an isolation shelter. Now the concern is if a member of New Haven's homeless community tests positive for COVID-19, but the symptoms aren't serious enough to be hospitalized, where would they go isolate? They have no home. They can't go back to a homeless shelter for the fear of passing the virus on to others. So the city says it's working with the Red Cross on this isolation facility at Career. So right now the idea is to start with 40 beds with room to expand up to 75 if needed. The city says it's also going to be renting 24 local hotel rooms to limit the death density of its homeless shelters and help spread people out to help limit any potential spread of the virus. We also learned today that a man were living at a group home in New Haven showed symptoms of the coronavirus this morning. That person uh, was transported, is being hospitalized, and we're told the rest of the folks that were there are now self-isolating. Additional updates from the city today. The Board of Ed is reaching out to community agencies, philanthropists, asking for help with laptops or Chromebooks to help with online learning with their school kids who are now home now. The mayor is also asking people to support local businesses at this time, grabbing takeout, delivery, buying gift cards, anything to help small businesses that are really hurting, along with the greater message, he says, of just be nice to one another. I've started to notice um, uh, in my conversations with folks uh, that the level of, of tension is rising, uh, and we've been going full speed ahead for maybe six days now, uh, and it's so important that we work together, that we're patient with each other. Uh, mayor continues to stress and ask for uh, religious groups to sort of limit large gatherings as well. Um, and he also says, the addition to the bars and restaurants that are closed, he's looking to whether the same needs to be done for hair and nail salons, barber shops. Um, Dentists, those are jobs in where you're working in close proximity with people. Uh, he says he's talking with the city's lawyer right now. He says that's something that they are considering as well. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.